had my breakfast. It's still very quiet outside, so I thought I'd just uh, come on again. Um, I uh, had a, a conversation with a, a dear friend the other day with regards to um, natural um, <clears throat> drugs, natural uh, medication from Mother Earth, giving us um, um, kind of like an LSD effect hallucinogenics um, you know the mushrooms and they actually um, they sell them on the islands of um, just off Bali, Gili Air, Gili Meno, Gili T um, <clears throat> there's ladies walking around with mushrooms offering them to people um, I was 17 years old when I took my first um, magic mushrooms as a kid as you do you know groups of kids run up and find a place and you know, we hear about these things and then we take them and I think I took them uh, once. <clears throat> um, yeah. I don't really know what to say about that, to be honest. It was, it didn't, um, I don't think it affected me um, crazy. Um, the only thing I remember is at night going home and running and having paranoia because I could hear somebody chasing me and uh, <clears throat> I was actually walking first of all and I heard footsteps behind me and I thought oh my god somebody's following me and the, the more I speeded up the more they speeded up and the more I started to run <clears throat> the more they ran after me and I turned around there was nobody there and I was running and then I looked at my feet and realized it was my own feet that I was hearing and I thought it was somebody else, but it was my own feet. So paranoia can set in, you know. I actually laughed. I stopped running and laughed. But yeah, I'm sure, you know, it depends how balanced you are or unbalanced you are. And this is the whole point. I think people who promote um, these kind of drugs, you know, um, people here on the Costa del Sol, uh, people who um, are out to make money, um, you know, even folk like Joe Rogan, um, these people who, you know, say it's the best thing since sliced bread, you know, it's, it's in one sense, if it's, if it's done correctly, I am sure it is, uh, it has health benefits for sure, for sure it has health benefits. But like anything, um, ayahuasca, all the uh, the other things, the the, the snake bites, the 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 the, um, the frog um, uh, serum, all of these things. <clears throat> what what are they really for? What 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 are we what are we really doing? What is it? What is it all about? Why why is that humanity always is searching for drugs? Well, it's obvious. They're searching for drugs because they're unfulfilled. There's a hole somewhere. Because you take anybody who's happy and they're not thinking about drugs unless somebody's trying to shove it down their throat or push it on them. Even when you're happy and you're balanced, you, you don't need anything. Nothing needs to be filled. You're, you're content in life, you're happy with life. Life's great, you can see the future, you can feel it, you can, you've got the excitement. So your body balance is perfect. And that is ultimately what I've um, strived to achieve every day since 38 years old. So when I've been offered ayahuasca, I've turned it down. Oh, what's wrong with you? Why don't you go to a higher realm of, of, of seeing things? I see enough thanks when I'm doing meditation. I, 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 and, and processing that is, is ultimately the whole point. Well, what do you mean? Well, what did you get at your ayahuasca, mate? Oh, I saw all sorts of things and this happened. And what did you do with that? Uh, I'm going back for more. So you didn't really get anything from it then, did you? You didn't really understand it, which means that you weren't ready for it. So. Would I ever take ayahuasca? Maybe one day when I feel I'm ready and I want to elevate to a different level. <clears throat> but at this moment, I have no desire to take any drugs because the best drug of all is your own that you create. 
that's the kind of drug that I talk about is when you pass your test or you've you crossed the finishing line to a long race or you've got to the top of the mountain or you've fallen in love with somebody and you feel their love or you, you've scored a goal uh, or you, you know you pass your driving test what th those moments where you feel that natural natural high that to me is long-lasting because that affects the body in so many ways it runs through the body and strengthens the body in in ways that you can't imagine whereas you look at ayahuasca that's a quick fix now for some people it's life-changing so I'm not saying what I'm saying is correct I'm just saying my interpretation and my understanding of what I've seen through thousands of clients who have done ayahuasca I know thousands of people have done ayahuasca so you ask me and I, I share to people if you're gonna do it know first of all why you're doing it is it just out of curiosity is it about you know you want to fulfill your um, your next level is it about um, clearing the pain and suffering that you're going through every day and you can't seem to shake it all of these things are, are so important that you you share with your shaman oh well it wasn't a shaman it was a girl yeah exactly what does she know well it was a guy from from Spain what, what does he know he knows nothing about ayahuasca he might have spent a few days or a week or a month what do they know? They're not, they're not indigenous to the to the place where that plant is. And really, is it for us? Because there's an argument here that where you're born is the food that you should eat, the plants that you should take. Because where you were born, your body, for some beautiful, miraculous reasons, knows that your your body system intakes everything that's around you. That's why we can't eat the same food as, uh, as somebody who lives in India or Africa or in, in the bushes of, of whatever rainforest. <clears throat> so for me, I've seen far too many people <clears throat> become more isolated, become more depressed, become more lost when doing ayahuasca here on the Costa del Sol. And of course I had to be one of, um, I think about four different healers on the coast, <clears throat> trying to help people go through the process of after taking ayahuasca that it, it basically broke them in so many ways. I've been in hospital a couple of times with people who took ayahuasca and um, they, were, they were a mess for about six months, three months, three, three to six months, not, maybe spending two to four weeks in hospital. Yeah, I've seen this. I would try to get um, one of my clients who was a nurse. Um, I knew a lot of nurses and uh, they came for readings, but one particular nurse who um, had helped quite a few people who had gone through the process of um, the after effect of ayahuasca and how it, the negative effect to them. And um, she, w she couldn't do it she couldn't she she said she was and then she kind of let me down and she said look Mark I can't because of you know my job and my position you know you can't talk about these things because yeah I understand I get it but we could have said not mentioned names and but it you know I, I wouldn't want her to lose a job so I totally understand it so I don't I don't endorse and I don't um, condone, I don't mock and ridicule, I just say <clears throat> be smart if you are going to do something like that, be smart about it, be savvy, do your research and most of all research within, go inside and ask yourself why you're doing it because it can have negative effects if you're not ready and if you've not got the right shaman and they can't see that you're not ready, then your trip can be can be horrible and can be numb and sometimes can be traumatic to the body. Some people, and I'll tell you, some people got tons out of it. Some people healed uh, from mass depression. I can tell you that as a fact, but it's very, very 
roll the dice. Very, very roll the dice. Let's see what happens. And like I said, all the boxes need to be ticked for the right reasons. Why am I doing it? Tick. Um, what is what? What do I want out of it? Tick. Um, how balanced am I at the moment? Tick. How healthy am I at the moment? Tick. Um, where am I doing it? Tick. Who is going to be the person taking care of me for that day or two days or three days? Tick. All of the if they're not if them boxes are, are like I don't know I'm not sure. Don't fucking do it. And I'm saying it with a swear word. Don't fucking do it. Now, natural health. Natural health, I've come to understand, is, is vital. And natural health is clearing your body of unwanted um, entities that are in there. Whether they're live, whether they're negative, whether it's negativity, dark, whether it's trauma uh, entity, which is the same thing. It sits there like like a nasty um, cancer that just stays there. All of these things, I realize that these things that need to be cleared. So imagine at 38 years old, every single day working on clients, and then they're coming back fr from one healing session or a psychic reading, a healing session, then they come back another in, in six months. And, 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 and slowly but surely you can see, wow, the change in that person from the first time you saw them, a broken soul, to now it's like okay so healing does work healing is non-evasive yes it does bring out trauma yes sometimes it can be quite strong but it's it's not fatal it's not like you're going to sit in the corner and cry for a week or you're going to go to hospital and start shaking and, and feel like the whole world's ended or you, you've got now constant paranoia for a year no healing is a beautiful and powerful and very balanced way of strengthening the physical body and healing the whole and clearing the trauma and and then you've got this other side of things where you, you know you're clearing the body of parasites which is vital which I've come to realize is more vital than anything if everybody took parasite cleanse the world would change in in a matter of two to three months the whole world would change why would it change well people wouldn't be going to the hospital as much people wouldn't be going to the doctors as much uh, people wouldn't go to psychiatrists as much um, they'd be more um, proactive creative uh, balanced people in this world there'd be less fighting less 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 um, you know uh, I don't like to use this word, but I guess um, less chemically imbalanced people because <clears throat> when you clear the parasites, you clear that what we talk about. So it's fascinating. It's fascinating. So these are my, um, my thoughts. These are my feelings this morning. I'm wishing you all a great day. Food for thought. Um, and if you are going to do uh, psychedelics, LSD, um, any of the uh, magic mushrooms, ayahuasca, any, anything like that, just make sure you're doing it for the right reasons. Make sure you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. That's all. You know, I, I make I make these videos <clears throat> on um, YouTube all the time, and people say to me, "Oh, you've already done this," and I and I say, "Yeah, I have already done it." And I said, "But these videos, when I talk about cleansing the body of sage, for instance, and doing a proper sage in the house, that is probably one of the, in my humble opinions." one of the, the biggest golden nuggets of truth, if anybody was to ask me, what's the biggest golden nugget of truth? I'd say sage, sage yourself and sage your house. Why? Because the after effect of that is so profound and so powerful in so many ways that it would take me uh, probably a full day to explain how that process um, can actually do all of these things in a positive way and uh, a healing way. So yeah, I do. I do over go overboard. We're talking about sage, but it's uh, it does so much. 
and it's so natural and you know it, it isn't going to kill you it, it isn't going to cause any damage to you you know okay you, you might find it a little bit tough on the, the chest uh, for some people but that soon goes and um, yeah the after effects are are, um, are are always positive so how are you all doing guys anyway So the answer really is, is, is what Mother Earth gives us. Mother Earth gives us trees, Mother Earth gives us um, soil, grass, roots, gives us plants, gives us uh, fruit, gives us vegetables, uh, gives us the herbs. So turn to Mother Earth, Mother Nature. Mother Nature is your mother. It, she really is. And she feeds you and she heals you. There's no other healer, and the, the the more you turn away from Mother Mother Earth, the more you will be sick. The more you'll be sick. And Mother 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 Earth, her energy is connected to the spirit world in so many ways. In so many ways, the the connection is so so close that when you do it when you're doing meditation by a tree you can easily connect to the spirit world why is that ah, there's some in that when you are doing a healing session by a tree which I used to do in Ibiza and all over the place here outside why is it that that connection is so so much more powerful you know it's, it's fascinating fascinating Well, I, I, you know, for me, it's so difficult because when people talk about a certain herb and what it's good for, I've come to the understanding, like everything in life, not, not one herb is good for one person. Okay, okay, try this. This is good for everything. So you've got to mix and match, like, like the clearing parasites. What herb is good for clearing parasites? There's so many plants. There's so many, and depending on what your body is like, what's inside your body, you know. So what is it like if you if you ask me, uh, okay, I don't feel good. I feel down. I feel sad. What 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 herb is good for you know depression? I don't like that word, but you know, because I don't believe it. Because I've seen so many people say they're depressed and then leave my uh, healing studio saying I've never felt better in my life. So what was that then? That wasn't depression. That was just energy. That was negativity. Good? Yeah, all good. Thank you. I'll just stick with this. Thank you. you in fact, I, I'll have a shot. Yeah, yeah. Double. Thanks. So, yeah, it's like, it's difficult. So I say, well, try this, try that. And then there's so many. There's so many. You've got to find the one that works for you. And there's so many times, this is why when people, uh, you know, scream and shout about something that's helped them, I say, just calm down a minute. I said, that's helped you, but it might not help everybody else, you know? So just put it out there gently. Just say, hey, listen, I tried this. It worked for me, but I'm not so sure it'll work for you. And this is how I teach in the Pure Energy Healing Academy. Don't, don't predict something. Don't tell something. Something's going to happen. Just say, it worked for me. It worked for my client. We can give it a go and let's see if it works for you. Right? Now, you don't need to be a practitioner to, to use that method in life. And that method in life will keep you safe. Right? I don't say that the parasite cleanse will work for everybody. But it might do. It might do. Will the parasite cleanse make you feel bad? It might do. Or it might make you feel great. So it don't, don't, don't say something is 100% because everybody's body is different. So, yeah. Fascinating though. Fascinating how Mother Earth, Mother Nature can heal you. The problem with life and the problem with humanity is that they want an answer straight away. And if you don't give them an answer straight away, you're either stupid or they're upset because you haven't given them what they want. Well, you don't want them kind of people in your life anyway. So goodbye, good riddance. Wait, when you wake up, come back again and then we'll talk about it. You know? How are you all doing anyway, guys? It's 
not really wisdom. It's not really. It's not really wisdom. It's just. A, it's just experience. You know, and 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 through my falling over and thinking, oh shit, you know, this that I shouldn't have said that. Uh, I I learned to say, well, what should I have said then? Well, maybe next time, don't say that that works for everybody. Just say it works for some people. Okay, that's better. Much better. It's a good grounding. It's a good start. You know, you don't want to shoot yourself in the foot by saying something works and it doesn't. Because then you're ending up in a fight, or you'll then start to do like the rest of these idiots on on social media, mainstream media, either looking stupid at the end of it, or uh, pretending and saying nothing, or defending it. I don't defend anything. I don't look stupid because I don't make myself look stupid. I just say <clears throat> things that don't get me shot. In, you know, in the foot. I won't do that no more. I did that when I first began because I thought that everything that I did as a healer would work for everybody. And I soon realized, no, it doesn't work for everybody. It worked for that person, but it might, you know, and then it made me realize that each person is individual. And just because you did that doesn't mean it's going to work on the next person. That's great. This Thank is you. Strong, right? It's beautiful. Thank you. I love it. Enjoy. Thank you. <clears throat> Cheers, everybody. Ginger, <coughs> ginger and uh, apple. Wow, that's strong. Beautiful. Um, so, I think as you get older, you, especially if you're a healer and, and you start healing work, you go down kind of two paths. Well, three. One, you don't really do the healing anymore. Two, you do the healing and you you remain humble and three i guess you do the healing and become ott and um i don't know you just lose the plot and you start thinking that you're um you're a god and everybody else is stupid um and i've seen so many healers at number three that it's just so sad and then they end up being hermits uh, they end up going insane and it's like, well, they would have done that in whatever walk of life they would have done anyway, because it's it's not the healing work, it's their personality. It's a bit like, <clears throat> I've had so many people come to me who, you know, oh, I'm no longer an addict. Uh, and I'm like, well, you may be not an addict of, of alcohol, you may not be an addict of drugs, you may not be an addict of uh, sex. You may not be an addict of, of whatever it is, <clears throat> but you are now an addict of healing, which is also not good. <clears throat> so you've just switched your addiction to something else, <clears throat> which is a, maybe a little bit more healthier. But in the end, you're still an addict, so you need to learn how to clear the addiction and this, this, this energy or it's going to um, be a, it's going to be terrible for you. It's going to be like a, a bombshell, and then you'll end up just reverting back to how you were, because you haven't cleared the addiction energy within you. And like, and it happens. It happens all the time. Trading one addiction for another. Alcohol and cigarettes and sex, you know, isn't isn't just an addiction anything that you do too much of and you become paranoid or you become over yeah you know that addiction that just takes over everything it's like hey calm down being a healer is part of being your life so it integrates with your life in a flowing way like you would go and learn first aid for two days you've always got that knowledge that you can implement if somebody's falling down having a heart attack. Um, uh, energy healing is something that you can always use on your friends and family. <clears throat> and if you decide to do it full time, then that's okay. But when you do it full time, you still switch off and then you go home and you have your family and your friends and you live a normal life. So when people are out with me on a night, I don't talk about my work. I don't talk about healing. 
I don't talk about, I talk about normal everyday life things. Okay, so just we chat. And it's like, oh, I thought you were a healer. I thought you'd be talking about, why would I want to do that? The only time I'm a healer is when I'm doing my work. So you've got to find the balance. Literally, it's important. So there you go. These are the things that we need to talk about from day to day. Use your flaws to your advantage. <clears throat> yeah. The beauty about an addictive personality is when you, you're aware you can use it to keep yourself in a... Well, yeah, I, I guess it's like anything. I know my weaknesses. I know my, my flaws. Uh, and, and know thyself. There's something in that. Know thyself. I think that's the, that's the whole point. So many people that I know make mistakes and do things and say things... What can I do about that? I can't. You point that out to somebody and they'll just slap you in the face. Right? You don't force feed somebody what you know about somebody else because force feeding a child, they'll just spew it back up at you. You can't force feed these things. Know thyself means that they've got to find it. They've got to see it. They've got to look in the mirror and say, shit, I am like that. I do do that. You telling somebody that, very, very rarely that penny drops. And that penny drop moment is something that I've talked about over the years. That penny drop moment is a, a great example when you're with your children. Don't do that. Please, please, darling, don't do that. Don't do that. And then a total stranger comes along and tells them something. And they go, oh, guess what? This person told me this. And, and you look at them and say, yeah, darling, I've been telling you that for the past 10 years. So there's something in that. When, when your child is ready, they will, they will understand what they're going through. When you're... you're your friend has fallen out with you. One day they'll understand it. They'll see it themselves. But you can't force people to see what, what they, they need to see themselves. Like, I'll give you a great example, right? I'm doing a reading for, let's say, somebody who is fairly famous in Hollywood. So I'm reading for him, right? I've got some information here that I can tell him straight away. I have to hold back sometimes because I'm thinking... You know, if I tell them this, this is going to alter everything in their life that I shouldn't be telling them. And as a reader, um, I, I try and tell people, only, only tell them the things that, are, are, that come out. As soon as you hesitate in the reading, whether you should or you shouldn't, is the indicator to say, no, that's not to... So, I'll give you another example. Let's say that me and you pass away today and we're in the spirit world and you meet me, you'll come and virtually slap me for telling you something that you should have figured out yourself and you should have, that that was part of your journey that you needed to figure out yourself. If somebody else tells you that, then it can alter the course of everything because it wasn't the right moment for you to understand that. When you understand that as a reader, it's like, it's like a boom moment. Okay, Mark, so this is vital that you understand that certain things are not meant to be said to somebody because you are disrupting their journey. You are going to cause a great issue and, and it's going to mess their path up because you forced something upon them that they, they needed to figure out themselves. That was a massive point in my life that I when, I when I was doing readings. And that's why I became a good reader because there's certain things you don't tell somebody because that they need to figure it out themselves and that's their journey. Why are you showing it to begin with? Great question, great question. Because maybe, just maybe, what you've just seen that you're not about to tell them, you can help them in other ways to strengthen them, getting them ready for the moment that that's going to happen. Maybe I'm going a bit too deep here. Yeah, probably am, completely. Listen, simplicity. Don't force your shit on anybody. Just be there for them and be a kind person. And whenever they recognize the shit, whenever they recognize the, the, the experience that they need to... Uh, strengthen from then it's open and now it's open to discussion now you can help them 
that that's that simple. Um, okay, so I'm now thinking, and I'm now understanding that there are certain people who are going round crying for help, but they don't really want any help at all. That's a different energy. Okay, <laughs> that's a different energy. So you have to be aware of that as well, because then you're wasting your energy with that person. Oh, it's so complicated being a healer and a, and a psychic and a helper. <laughs> it's so complicated because then, you know, you take that one thing that I say and you, you utilize that for everything. I think you've got to discern everything that I say. Don't take every, anything that I say for granted and for real. Just take what I say and, and sit down and meditate on it and think about it and then come up with your own decision to what feels right for you. Then you're, you're balanced. I am wishing you all a lovely day today. It's nice to be able to talk to you. Nobody's here apart from two people down there, which is great. Uh, it's been a long time since I've been able to chat with you guys without people stuck next to me listening to every freaking word that I'm saying, which is kind of embarrassing and also very disturbing because if you say the wrong thing while somebody's listening, it can be um, bad. So you have to be careful. Yeah, where are you? Uh, I'm sat at the bottom of Mi Michas Mountain um, in a place called Banana Kitchen and I'm having uh, a fresh ginger and apple which is extremely strong um, and I like it here I you know <clears throat> and I support Banana Kitchen the two people who run it are lovely people um, they do serve all different foods um, I don't actually eat here, uh, Only I only have breakfast in the morning, which is normally avocado, um, fresh, uh, freshly made every morning, um, and the avocado is organic. Um, the bread is absolutely lovely, and it's um, sourdough, it's lovely, and it's all natural. Um, and I have tomatoes and, um, and two eggs, which are all organic. So that's really what I have here. Not every morning, just some mornings, but I do come here for a coffee, um, a freshly ground coffee. In, uh, let's have a look what this is. It's a, this is a copy of um, a blue and white porcelain cup, which I used to sell them when I was an antique dealer. It would have probably been an Adams, Adams way. <clears throat> anyway, it is a lovely day. I'm wishing you all a big hug. Have a lovely day to you all. Have a happy weekend. I don't really look at, um, love your chats. Thank you, Darren. I appreciate that. <clears throat> I try and keep things as real as possible. <clears throat> Try and, I try and share uh, uh, the truth of my mistakes. Uh, try and share what I've learned. So, so golden nuggets of truth. Maybe, maybe one day I'll write a book which is called Golden Nuggets of Truth. Wouldn't that be freaking awesome? Hey, eh? I'm talking about um, everybody that I've sat with. Imagine all the healers, all the psychics, all the um, uh, the yoga gurus who have who have, have sat with me and had psychic readings, um, some of the most amazing people in the world that gave me golden nuggets of truth. I was really lucky. I had a, I had 12 years constantly of meeting people who were so fascinating. Um, I was, it was like, it was like being a, a pupil. So yeah, I'd read for them and they'd love the reading. They'd, they'd be really happy with the reading. Like, okay, I gave a good reading. Okay, good, I'm happy you got a good reading. Um, and where the reading came from, how it came out and all of that, I don't really, I don't really know. I just know that it comes from the love of spirit, the love of energy, the, the, the Mother Earth universe, giving them information, helping them. I came across <clears throat> in a loving way, a helpful way and a strengthening way. That's all that mattered and um, my client list was huge and then soon as I, I broke through into um, Australia, Canada, I broke through into uh, Africa, um, uh, Hollywood, 
I broke through all of those places via internet, uh, via people coming over to see me. Um, and it was like, okay, so something's working. So I, I'd, I was always keep a, a general um, understanding of my reading, try and keep it in the way and the balance that I felt, keep ego at bay, keep uh, fame away, keep um, uh, offers of, of television at bay, keep all of that shite at bay all that ego at bay, all of that greed at bay, and be humble every day. Why? Because you're learning, Mark, and one day all of this information will help others. It might help one person in a day that will change their life from taking a razor blade or taking a rope and doing something to themselves. <clears throat> it may change one person's life from making <clears throat> the biggest mistake of their life, um, that they may live to regret forever by taking putting something in their mouth uh, and and so and so on so those were the things that mattered to me when i was doing it i was thinking okay everything that i'm learning now i'll be able to share with people one day and that's when i did i did youtube channel i started making youtube uh, channels and, and talking about certain things in life and now there's over a thousand videos there that people can look at and and think okay that's bullshit or oh that some of that makes sense uh okay I'll, I'll i'll take some of that and let's try this let's see let's change the mind mindset let's try and meditate let's try and eat healthy let's try and do this and there's 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 a lot of people out there with information and you've got to try it all. You've got to discern between all of that because now, I mean, there's people, there's so many bullshitters out there. There's so many fakers. There's so many people just trying to get clickbait. There's one person now on my video, uh, because I have ads on my video, is starting to um, tell people, um, oh, the reason why psychics and healers are, are not making any money uh, is is because of this and uh, if you just join my platform and pay so much money you can be rich and and you can clear that it's like oh just shut up in fact that reminds me I'm gonna do a video just on that so then you can have it free I can give you the free information so you don't need to pay to become rich because you've got this issue because you're a psychic and you're a healer and um, you've got this issue that, yeah, the issue is the darkness and the entities and the negativities and the, the narrow-minded, stupid people who are telling you that, oh, well, you're, you, you've got a gift, you should give it freely, all that nonsense. That's there deliberately to stop people from becoming. Imagine if this world was filled with healers and they work and they're great healers and, and you pay them for their work, for their time. Yeah, there's not enough healers in this world to heal this world, let me tell you. Okay, guys. And there's no one like you neither there's no one like any of us we're all just individual and everybody's amazing everybody's amazing they just need to look inside and figure out where that amazingness is and and realize it's just awareness you know most of the times that we're looking at ourselves and doubting ourselves looking at ourselves and measuring ourselves to somebody else and that is the worst thing you can do <clears throat> that's what I did I was sat in a, a healing circle night and I was measuring myself to everybody else thinking wow that person's got an amazing gift at this that person's got an amazing gift at that instead of looking at my gift and saying what is my gift and it was just like one day it just happened look at what is your gift Mark okay uh, and, and as soon as you see it you, you go oh it's not it's not really a gift it's not really that good it's not really worth even even uh, pursuing hello hello that is an amazing gift and that's going to make you um, stand out from the crowd because you are different just like everybody else is different and what they um, and if they're tuned to who they are they'll stand out otherwise you're just walking person not knowing who you are so the secret is to stop and ask yourself what is the gift in you so how I did that 
they say, well, what, what, what is it that I've got to offer? And at the time I was doing, um, I was doing healing circles, learning how to heal people, send healing to people. And then I realized my gift was that I could look across the room and see somebody and know what they were feeling. I could go around the room and tell everybody <clears throat> how they were feeling. It was, I was literally picking up feelings. So I thought, okay, work on that then, work on that. So that's what I did. How do I work on it? How do you work on picking up feelings? Well, why don't you start with some angel cards and read angel cards because not now you're just reading angel cards, now you're picking up their feelings. So you're talking to them through the, through the card. So you're reading the card message, but then you start to talk to them about their feelings and share what they're feeling. And, and then, well, what do you do with that? Just tell them their feelings? No, no, you, 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 there's something else in this, Mark. There is what? You can help them feel better. How? Because you know what they're feeling. So you now need to find, you now need to attune to what can help them feel better. The cards can do that. Well, what else? Well, maybe healing somebody. You can feel their feelings like this person's got um, severe um, back pain. You can feel it. Why have they got severe back pain? Because they're working like crazy and they're having to look after their three children. Their husband left, uh, her husband left her and uh, she can't stop working, she's in pain in her back, she's upset because her husband went off with a younger model. You can feel this, you can literally feel that, that she's on her own. You can literally feel that she's working every day and her pain in her back is getting worse. So now you lay the lady down and you start working on her back and when you finish, she gets up and she says, oh my God, my back, it's gone, the pain's gone. And, I'll, and, and why? Because you just gave him a reading about the husband and why he left and it wasn't because of her, it was because of him and now she doesn't feel bad anymore. Why didn't she feel bad? Because she realizes it was nothing to do with her. And then you tell her that she's absolutely beautiful and she's, you know, whoever, whoever ends up with her is going to be the luckiest man in the world because she's the most beautiful, kind, caring person in the world. And then you bring her back up to realize that shit, yeah, whoever's with me is going to be the lucky person. And my ex-husband did it because he was messed up and it was nothing to do with me. So now you've lifted not only the physical pain, but the emotional pain Are you do you understand so from one little thought that I have maybe a little gift inside me that might be able to help somebody because I can feel them I transform that and, and let it and, and nurtured it like a little seed and let it grew and worked with it every day and believed in it and spoke to it with love and trusted in it all good, thank you. Miguel. All good, all good, Miguel. Thank you so much. So, okay, I've, I've waffled on too much, but maybe in these words, there might be something there that might help you. But I swear to God, guys, when you realize that you have a gift in you and you nurture that gift and you work with that gift, you don't stop what you're doing, you don't stop your life and focus on that, you just work with it and whatever you're doing in life just keep working with it and the more you work with it the more it grows and the more that it grows the more everything else depletes and goes away and this becomes bigger and bigger and then you find your path that's my gift today from my heart to yours find your path and you'll find your health your happiness your well-being and you'll certainly find your inner love and peace have a great day Bye, guys. Take care.